Inequality, unemployment, soaring debt. Europe's had its share of troubles in the five years since the financial crisis struck. The aggressive austerity programs launched to cure the ailing economy appear to have made everyday life worse. A new report suggests almost a third of, Euro of Europeans will live in poverty by 2025. The details now from Lucy Kafanoff. It's a prediction of a bleak future for Europe. 25 million more people living in poverty by 2025. Now that is according to a new report from Oxfam. The charity warns that Europe's unchecked austerity programs could spell a lost decade for the continent and entrench poverty for an entire generation. Now, bailouts of Europe's financial institutions may have helped save the banking system, but they've also pushed up public debt. The assumption was that balancing budgets would give confidence to markets. That, in turn, was supposed to allow credit and investments to flow, making economies grow and creating jobs. But in many countries, that simply hasn't come to pass. Now, at issue are deep spending cuts to public services like education, health, and social security. Many European countries have been forced to slash public spending in order to balance their budgets. In Ireland, for example, they've cut public spending by 40% of its GDP, roughly 20% in the Baltic states, 12% in Spain, and so on. But those numbers have a very real effect on people, and they mean fewer services available to those who need them most. According to Oxfam, this will drastically increase poverty and inequality across the continent, not just now, but for years to come. Now, in these economic times, having a job itself doesn't mean you're in the clear. In fact, almost one in ten working households in Europe now live in what's known as in-work poverty. Now, they may bring home a paycheck, but it simply doesn't buy what it used to. And that is because the value of wages has actually dropped in countries where spending cuts have been the harshest. Prices go up, salaries stay the same, causing many families to struggle just to get by. Now, the spending cuts also mean fewer jobs. Unemployment in many European countries is hitting record highs. And the report notes that women and young people are often most effective. And what about those who lose their job only to spend months, even years, looking for another? In Ireland, Greece and Spain, the long-term unemployment rate has quadrupled between 2008 and 2012. So how to stem the tide of rising poverty and growing inequality? Well, Oxfam argues the poor shouldn't pay for mistakes made by bankers. It's called for a tax on the transactions of big banks that could deliver billions of dollars of help to ordinary people. But EU lawmakers have said that such a tax would be illegal. Oxfam is also calling for areas like health and education to be protected from cuts. The group claims that Europe can afford these measures. But whether finance ministers agree is a different question. Lucy Kafanov, RT, Moscow.